rappers these days ain't just artists. They gotta be social media influencers who constantly flex their lifestyle to their fans. So when things get real, fans got a front row seat. Let's take a look at a few rappers who got shot while on IG Live. Duke Deuce. Duke Deuce is a rapper from Memphis, Tennessee, known for his breakout track, Crunk Ain't Dead. Duke was born and raised in the White Haven neighborhood of Memphis, also called Black Haven. He got put on the music at an early age, with his father being a producer. But Duke ain't started making music himself until he was like 19. He was inspired to start rapping by Memphis legends like 36 Mafia and Project Pat, along with modern trap rappers like the Migos. He started gaining the buzz in 2018 after dropping the track Whole Lotta. The video did big numbers on YouTube and also grabbed the attention of Offset, who taps in with Deuce to link up. Not long after that, he inked a deal with Quality Control Records. He dropped his first mixtape, Memphis Massacre, later that year, which featured verses from Offset and Project Pat. He dropped the track Yeah in 2019 and followed it up with a video that got millions of views. He followed that up with the track Crunk Ain't Dead, which got remixed and featured Lil Jon, Juicy J, and Project Pat. The video quickly went viral due to the song's catchy hook and Duke's personality. The rapper is also known for his dance moves and his passion to make crunk music mainstream again. Duke followed up the success of that single with Memphis Massacre 2 in 2020 and his debut album, Duke Nukem, in 2021. But Duke Deuce also grew up in the streets of Memphis, an area known for crime and violence. He said that growing up, he was in and out of the streets but was always focused on music and doing something more positive with his life. But when you a buzzing rapper, sometimes that's easier said than done. Back in September, the rapper was in a shootout while he was on IG Live. Duke was on live, chopping it up with his fans like he always does when things went left. At one point, Duke starts taunting one of his ops, telling them, come outside and f with me Pepper Tree. We ain't on none of that bougie shit, none of that Hollywood shit. But before he even finished his sentence, shots start going off in the background and Duke stops talking to see what's happening. Come outside and f with me Pepper Tree. We ain't on none of that bougie shit, none of that Hollywood shit. As the shots get louder, Duke turns to run away, but still has the camera in his hand, and at some point, the shots just stop and the live stream ends. At first, it wasn't clear if Duke was hitting the shooting, but he later popped up on social media to let his fans know he was good and he ain't get hit. He don't say who he was beefing with, but before the shots started ringing off, it sounds like he was referring to the Pepper Tree Apartments, an area known for gun violence. It's also unclear if the shooting was immediate retaliation for Duke getting at his ops online or if it was just a coincidence. But either way, he might want to be more careful next time he goes live. But if you thought that was crazy, this next rapper got robbed at gunpoint and it was all captured on IG Live. Bugatti Casino Bugatti Casino is a rapper from Fort Worth, Texas, known for tracks like Channel 5 and Never Fold. But before the music, the rapper was in the streets at an early age and caught his first case of burglary at just 9 years old. In an interview with Dirty Glove Bastards, he explained how they couldn't lock him up because he was too young, so they just wrote him a ticket and gave him a court date. He ended up missing the court date, but by then, he was 10 years old, which meant he was old enough to go to juvie. So they put out a warrant for his arrest, and he ended up serving some time. Over the years, he was sent back to juvie a total of 25 times, and says he would only be out on the streets for like a week before getting locked up again. He had a lot of older brothers who was already in the streets, so he was just doing what they did. He was one of 11 kids, and his mother died when he was only 13. So, from a young age, he had to learn how to survive on his own. At age 17, he did two years in the pen, then another three and a half years out of a six-year sentence. In total, he spent like six years of his life behind bars. He started taking music seriously in 2015 after getting out of prison. He decided he needed to find a way out of the streets and take his life in a more positive direction. Because of his long criminal record, he knew he couldn't just get a regular job. So it was either rap or spend his life going back and forth to jail. At first, he had one foot in and one foot out, but realized he couldn't do both and went all in with the music. But just because you decide to change your life, don't mean that your ops want to see you win. Earlier this year, Bugatti Casino got robbed and shot at while live on IG. In the video, the rapper looks like he's just chilling in his whip, talking to fans, when someone off camera approaches his car. Bugatti turns his head to see what's going on, and the guy asks, ain't you that rapper? He says, yeah, what's up with it? They keep talking, and the dude says, I heard you the hottest thing in town, B, while Bugatti smokes a cigarette. Ain't you that rapper? Yeah, what's up? Cool, cool. Man, I heard you got them features going for sale. Oh, yeah. The rapper asks the dude where he's from and they just keep talking for a minute. Bugatti says he's waiting on somebody and asks what the guy wants. That's when things turn up. They start arguing and he keeps asking what the dude wants. At one point, he tells his homie to start the car and get out of there. That's when the guy asks where they're going before sticking his whole arm into the car, showing he's got a gun. I'm saying, I'm saying what you trying to get though. 
Trying to get 18. Hey, look, fam, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Come on, yeah, cut the car. Cut the car. Cut the car, bro. Where y'all going at? Where y'all going at? It seems like he's trying to rob Bugatti, who grabs his arm and fights for the gun. They knock the phone down, and from there, it's hard to tell what's going on. You can hear him fighting in the background before shots start going off and the live just ends. It's not clear if Bugatti got shot or what happened to the shooter, but he's continued doing interviews and drop music videos, so if he was hit, he kept it low key and made a full recovery. But this next rapper wasn't so lucky and ended up getting killed after his cousin went live at a friend's funeral. PSO Emmett. PSO Emmett was a 16 year old rapper from Memphis, Tennessee who was making waves in the city with tracks like Sliding and Tonight. He was gaining the local buzz and racked up hundreds of thousands of views on some of his YouTube videos. But before Emmett had a chance to make it big as a rapper, he was gunned down while attending his friend's funeral. On Saturday, October 23rd, Emmett Beasley, aka PSO Emmett, was at a funeral for his friend, Jamarco Smith, another teen from Memphis, who had died. The funeral was at a church on Hunter Ave, and Emmett and his cousin was there to pay their respects. On the way to the funeral, Emmett's cousin, PSO Day Day, recorded a live stream that showed them walking with a group down the road to the church where the funeral was being held. Towards the end of the stream, Day Day sent shots at his ops, telling the people in the live who were tuned in that they ain't never been on shit, they never even sent a slingshot our way, before calling whoever he's talking to a b He keeps getting at whoever he's beefing with, telling them they're never outside and they never did shit, even though they keep dissing and talking. PSO Emmett can be seen walking beside him toward the end of the live. Not long after, a group of shooters pulled up in a black jeep and started letting off shots, hitting both Emmett and his cousin Day Day before fleeing. Day Day was rushed to the hospital, but Emmett was pronounced dead on the scene. His death was the 25th murder in Memphis of that year. Even though PSO Emmett was known for having guns in his music videos and rapping about the streets, his mother told the media that he was just a normal kid who worked at Wendy's, went to school, and worked on his music. She never thought he would be murdered at the funeral of another kid his age. At the time of his death, Emmett was a junior at Southwind High School. A week before he was killed, he auditioned for a record deal with 1017, Gucci Mane's label. So, it seemed like if he stayed focused, the rapper could have had a promising music career. But this is a prime example of why the streets and social media don't mix. Just by going on live, PSO Day Day gave away their exact location. When he started talking shit, he made it way too easy for his ops to pull up and catch him lacking. According to those that knew him, PSO Emmett was a good kid and the image he portrayed in his music wasn't the life he really lived. But in the end, it ain't matter because he still suffered the consequences that come with living that lifestyle. A 22-year-old man named David Lee was later arrested in connection with the shooting and he's being charged with first-degree murder and attempted first-degree murder. But police believe there's still more suspects on the streets.